The 2019 Nissan GT-R The Nissan GT-R is by far Japan's longest running and most talked about supercar. Even in the face of an all-new hybrid NSX and the shrieking Lexus LFA's V10, the magic of the GT-R formula continues to fascinate and captivate car guys and gals across the world. The latest R35 Nissan GT-R is the most accomplished in the family lineage by not only dominating the press in Asia and Australia, where the previous gen cars were sold, but also taking headlines across America and Europe. And the headlines are good. Not the standard, newcomer tries to beat Porsche, loses, we are also familiar with. The GT-R is a machine that wins objective and subjective comparison tests against some of the absolute quickest and highest tech machines in the world. It has taken two generations of 911 turbo models to get anywhere near the GT-R's pace, and the $100,000 Nissan also regularly spanks Ferrari's finest. So much so that Porsche and Ferrari will no longer let one of their cars be in a Comparo with the GTR. Now that is an achievement. So where to go with this legend of a race car? Keep the world beating pace and all the latest component upgrades from the forthcoming GTR Nismo, but improve the weight balance, center of gravity, aerodynamics and style. A daunting task, to say the least. Luckily, the top speed artists and graphic design team have created a few exclusive previews of where the GTR styling will go in the next generations. Tagged a 2016 Nissan GTR, these renderings are purely speculative design studies. The ideas presented here are still quite interesting, with two distinct flavors of modern GTR from which to select your favorite. Click past the jump for a closer look at these top speed exclusive previews of the next gen Nissan GTR. Update March 13, 2014, a possible leaked image and insider information puts the 2016 GTR at over 800 horsepower and gives it a whole new look. See more after the jump. Leaked image. Is it a leak or just an artist's rendering? We don't know, but the consensus seems to agree that this is actually a leaked image of the 2016 GTR. What's more, the awesomely restyled body isn't the big news. Nope, the big news is the new hybrid powertrain that company insiders are putting at more than 800 ponies, thanks to the same 3.8-liter V6 tuned to 580 horsepower and a KERS system that adds 250 more horses. 2016 Nissan GT-R, Speculative Preview These renderings are pretty outstanding and well executed considering the fact that Nissan has said virtually nothing about a replacement for this R35 GT-R. Traditionally a very long model cycle, the Nismo engineers have been unable to leave well enough alone over the current car's four-year tenure on the market. Most of the extra detail tweaks to the GTR have been under the skin, however. Only the LED running lights that joined the bumper in year two were added to the hot and technical beauty of the GTR. BMW's Evo, Revo, logic is the most rational when predicting how all carmakers will replace their lineups. What we dubbed Evo, Revo refers to the way BMW revamps their models. An all-new car is on market for four years, then gets a superficial update for another four years on the same platform. That is the evolution part. Then after eight years, the revolution brings a new chassis. By this logic, the new GTR is most likely be an evolution and not revolution of a totally new chassis. To accomplish this, the car must be totally revamped and restyled outside as a way to draw in the trendiest shoppers, and keep the previous loyal buyers when they are trading up. 2016 Nissan GT-R Speculative Preview, Nose Renderings The new GT-R's nose is one of its most remodeled and repackaged features. A much lower hood height is visible in these renderings, with an even more extreme expression of the latest boomerang headlamps. The V-Bar grille from the top-speed 2016 Nissan Maxima Nismo rendering is present in shape, but not in chrome finish. The nose of the GTR looks far meaner with visible weave carbon fiber forming its lower structure on a contrast black versus the white paint of these renderings. The air intake setup looks very similar to the current GTR, but adds a slim hood scoop just above the grille. Whether feeding the intake or serving an active aero function, a scoop like this could replace the current car's NACA ducts higher in the hood. The biggest change from rendering number 1 to number 2 is the lower side sill. 
The second rendering finishes this piece on contrasting black carbon fiber, helping the GTR to look leaner and meaner than the body color scoop. These sills appear to channel air into the rear brake ducts, but such a detail remains unconfirmed. Original nose sketches 2016 Nissan GTR Speculative Preview – Profile Renderings The side view of the forthcoming F36 GTR is arguably the most refined versus the nose and tail, which are expected to keep the familiar cues from today. The roofline appears dramatically lowered from even the current GTR's very low 54-inch height, but the blacked-out front fenders and glasshouse continue to the new generation of models. The daylight opening, or window line, appears to be carved lower into the door frame than today, while the rear three-quarter glass arcs upward instead of downward on the current car. The anchor point for the whole floating roof is the C-pillar, with a pinched and layered surface that is also expected on the next Maxima and 370 z the curved and sensual buttress just below the C-pillar is very attractive and unique, adding some premium feel to the functional surfaces of today's car. This design cues for the roof up the drama and supercar stance of the GTR, and also makes it easier to share the new look with other body styles. In profile, the main difference between the two renderings is the treatment of the rear side lights. The second rendering features more of a flow and C-shaped brake light visible from the side. Original Profile Sketches 2016 Nissan GTR Speculative Preview – Tail Renderings The tail is also two steps of potential style makeovers. One could be thought of as the Evo concept, and another the Revo. The Evo idea keeps the giant four exhaust pipes down below and the four-pack of round brake lights near the top corners of the trunk. Additional venting and aero detailing is visible near the lower diffuser areas, where the GTR will need to increase its downforce and stability to reach higher top speeds than the current car. Chiseled edges are kept for the rear corners because it is the cleanest treatment for aerodynamic smoothness. The choices regarding heat tail lights are tricky because round brake lights have been a GTR styling theme since the beginning. Even so, to move the car forward the LED shape is likely to be inside the trunk metal or ditched altogether. The C-shaped scratch of LED lights is another area that will allow better transfer of this look to the 370Z and Maxima. While the round likes work on the GTR, they would look too much like a Chevrolet Monte Carlo on the Maxima. Conclusion so, a longer wheelbase and more centrally mounted engine are the only details known so far about the next generation Nissan GTR. Light electrification was once thought to be likely, but now seems to off stage in favor of even higher states of tune for the current car's racing level engine. More aggressive active aerodynamics and rear steering are expected, which will hopefully maintain or enhance the current car's take no prisoners attitude when beating all others in the drag races and around racetracks. All these tweaks and a body that is sexier than the $400,000 LFA. The R36 GTR looks set to keep all its best traits, but this time wrapped in more elegant bodywork that will directly influence the next Maxima and Z car. Love it GTR as a hero car even today improved looks and even the same performance would create a very desirable package new styling of roof and rear end will also improve performance. Leave it competition is heating up, with even the Corvette Stingray benchmarking and trying to topple the GTR R35 price is creeping up pretty drastically since launch the legend continues. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.